Tonight, on Unknown, Oklahoma. Where there's been uh, a recent round of Bigfoot sightings. What was that? Bigfoot? <laughs> Bigfoot. This elusive creature has supposedly been seen for centuries. Millions of people have gone looking for the beast, and so far, none of these adventures have ever been conclusive. But could Bigfoot be hiding in our own backyard? Could he be right in the heart of the supernatural sphere? sightings and, and encounters and people have, you know, probably shaken hands with Bigfoot a couple of times. I don't know. Well, there is an annual festival there because of all the sightings. Exactly. So. Which we've been to. Which we've been we've, to. We went there on a completely unrelated incident a couple years ago. Right. Uh, we actually got to go to it. Um, of course, we weren't as big of, you know, paranormal investigators then. Like we're paranormal investigators. But, you know, it was kind of fun. It was, sure. There was a big statue there. Yeah. We might be able to see it again yeah. this time. And uh, anyway, but of course, before we go to Hanovia, we're going to stop by someplace a little bit closer. Right. We're going to go to Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, where there was actually a very, uh, not exactly a sighting, but a recent event that seems Bigfoot related. So. Right. So apparently there was a, there was a, a guy out there, and he was fishing in a reservoir or kind of a, kind of a, I don't know, it's like an abandoned mine or something? It, it is an abandoned mine. Something like that? It's, it's now a place where you can go and fish, and I guess it gets stocked with fish and everything. So. Right, 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 right. So... It's a very Oklahoma thing. It's a very Oklahoma thing. Uh, so anyway, so he was fishing there. And right. I guess like a kayak or something, I think that's what it said, a kayak? Uh, which seems like kind of a dangerous thing to fish in. Because it's a kayak. <laughs> It's like he just tip over. But uh, anyway, so he was fishing. And he kind of heard something. Like, you know, just a little bit out of ear range. Right? He heard something. And it was um, like something that impacted the water. It didn't seem like a fish. It seemed like too big for a fish. Right. So, so he's like, okay, well, what was that? He turns around, summing comes flying by him. It's a rock. Something is throwing rocks from the shore. Right. 
and uh, it's still, you know, it's, I, I don't think it's night yet, but it's like dusk, it's evening. Right. Uh, and so he can kind of see, it's really thick in there and he can't see anything. And the professor is like, okay, well, where's this box? So, right. no, so he files a report with BFRO, which is the Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization. Right, which, which is a na national organization. It is. It's a national organization of Bigfoot Field Researchers. People who go out and investigate these reports. So reports like this one. We use them for a lot of our research in this episode, actually. Absolutely. Because um, they're, they're a really good resource. Now, we are not sponsored by BFRO or anyone. Please sponsor us. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, so I filed a report with BFRO, and they sent a team out there. It's a guy and his kids. And they went out there and searched around this area for a little while, and they were like, oh, it's really, it's really thick. It's, you know, it's a, it's a thick woodland. Right, it's a diff it would be a difficult place for anyone to get to. Right. You, you right. couldn't just casually walk into the woods, so... It, right, and throw rocks at a random guy in a kayak. Right. Which does seem like a weird thing to do, but, uh, you know, people are crazy. Right. It's... You know, some weird people. And when they were out there, they were saying that they they kind of separated to investigate right. and, and yeah. look around. I see them. Yeah. Do. And and they said that they had this uneasy feeling and, and, and kind of nervous feeling, like, like, like they were being watched or... Right. I don't know if that's associated with Bigfoot necessarily, because it just seems like a weird thing to use as evidence, you know? I mean, yeah, but, but you know, it, as it is in any of our investigation, you know, we can use our sensors. There's uh, sensors. 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 Sensor. We, we have sensors, too. We do have sensors also. We, we have yes. sensors as well. Right. Uh, we, we, we also cannot curse, because we have sensors. Right. So, uh, but anyway, senses, yeah, so of course we You'll use our senses, you know, I mean, obviously there's some reports you can smell Bigfoot. He's, right. He's supposed to smell horrifyingly bad. Right. I kind of hope we don't smell bad, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, we can use our five senses, and I guess kind of being watched is kind of a sense. So, uh, anyway, so, and, you know, they, and I think they uh, saw some footprints and things, and they're like, okay, there's definitely something out here. Right. Uh, now, now, I, I do have one issue with, with this story, specifically the investigation afterward. Yeah. What what kind of parent brings their kids out on a Bigfoot investigation, out to hunt a mythical creature that could be harmful to your children? It could be you could be putting your children in danger. You, you know, you don't know what this creature is going to do. It's supposed to be really strong, you know, putting down trees or whatever. Why would why? Little, little close to home there. Um, son? Father? Headed on a Bigfoot adventure? To Manobia? Fair enough. So, obviously we're looking for footprints, but also evidence of hair, anything like that, right. that might give us a clue. You know, if there, there are plenty of animals that would, that would leave those, but obviously, you know, a Bigfoot right. would, would be distinctive. Right. We're looking for any food sources, possibly, if we see any other animals. Now, you see this kind of area here, and there's already track back. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously not Bigfoot. It's probably maybe a dog or a wolf or something. Seems like a coyote, maybe. Coyote. Yeah. But I think it's safe to see if I step in the sand. Let's see. A track there. Yeah. It's not a bad place. It's really to find something. Obviously not near the water. It's probably not even over here because, you know, you got low and high tide. You didn't get a little bit small. It's so good. Here. But that would wash away a lot of the evidence of a, of a foot.
Now, the issue with the thick brush, of course, is you really can't see much, can you? Um, that is why we have a state-of-the-art thermal imaging camera. Now, usually, these things are used for plumbers, pipe cleaners, people like that, where they, you know, trying to detect, oh, here's, you know, a leaky pipe or <laughs> something, right? But it's also used in the big sort of investigating community and uh, in the ghost hunting community to detect ghosts and things. I'm trying to see. Now, I know everything looks colder. It is blazing hot out here. But if there were an animal walking around in those woods, we would see it. Maybe not with our eyes, but probably with the thermal. So uh, continue on and see if we can see it. Uh, yeah. See how there's kind of some red there. This box retaining heat. Because it's getting kind of dark actually. Or at least sunset is pushing. Oh. What a lot of, like, possibly almonds, something not here, which, again, could possibly be due to Bigfoot. Actually, look at this. Look at this. Here. That. I don't think that's a light strike, right? No, there's no burn marks or anything. There's no burn marks. It, I mean, the tree looks pretty old, but that may just be because it was, you know, broken while back. No, it is attached to this one. Here. But it, it is definitely broken, but I don't know if it's broken in like an animalistic way necessarily, right? Right. Because we think that's a big plus. Plus, why would he want to break a tree like that? Right. Unless it was for food, but I don't think this is an alden tree. Unless it is, because there's more almonds on the ground, so, you know, maybe. Do almonds grow on trees? Well, I guess I do. Yeah, almonds grow on trees. Okay. There's, there's almond, because yeah, you like there's almond, almond wood you use for right. uh, grilling and things. Right, so, okay. So I assume, how does rose wood, but like roses don't grow on trees, so who knows? <laughs> there's dogwood. There's dogwood, and uh, as far as I know, dogs don't grow on trees. Yeah. Stay quiet for a second. Can you hear anything? You're gonna go up higher? Yeah. I don't see anything. Well, here already said. Looks like there's kind of a cave. There's some sort of rocky outcropping. There's something over there. Well, actually, there is a deep there. There's an outcropping. Alright, well you stay here, I'm gonna go up there. Right. I don't have to put the thermal away. Just because I don't want to damage this <laughs> expensive piece of equipment. Right. Now, a lot of free leaf things here. I'm not sure what they are. I'm pretty sure poison ivy just grows along trees. In fact, that's probably poison ivy, not this. Yeah. Well, it's 
You see any you see any hair or imprints on the ground or anything? Well spider webs. <laughs> That is uh, definitely a Bigfoot thing. Yeah. Knocks on wood and... Yeah. All right. Ready for this? Yeah. That one much good. Obviously the light comes up this enough. This looks like a nice farm piece. Oh. Or not. I don't know how many Bigfoot investigators fail at wood knock. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Right. Well. Apparently us. We're getting late. It's getting dark. We're exhausted. We've got to get an early start tomorrow to go to a whole different part of Oklahoma. <laughs> exactly, and it's about a three hour drive from uh, where we are currently, so we're definitely, <laughs> we definitely need to probably get out of here. Bigfoot? <laughs> Bigfoot, are you out there? Bigfoot? Man with large feet. If I can walk across here, right here, and get you on camera and prove that you exist, and then we'll go. He missed his cue. Yeah. He needs to take more drama class. Hmm.
you know, yeah. trees and, and cliffs and all yeah, kinds yeah. of things. I mean, so there's, there's a farm over here, there's a large forest over in this direction. So it's, it's very different than what we used to. Right, definitely. And it kind of, you know, uh, validates, I don't know, lens <laughs> that, that in this part of Oklahoma, that there could be some sort of, of creature or some of a place for a creature like that to be undiscovered. Right, right. It, 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 it seems like kind of the undiscovered country. Happened somewhere around this area. It did. We're here at the little river in Hanobi, Oklahoma, and you may have been wondering this entire trip, if you haven't already looked it up, why we're in Hanobi, specifically. A weird little town in Oklahoma. Why would we be here? Right. This is because one of the most famous incidents involving Bigfoot took place here. It was called the Siege of Hanobi. And there was this family on the outskirts of town who were being assaulted, almost, by creatures, Bigfoots. They were coming onto the property, they were, they were taking their, you know, they, they were hunters, they, they had deer, they were using them for, for meat, they had them stored, and, and, and they were being stolen by predators, but not normal predators. Right. And it escalated to the point that the Bigfoots, or whatever they were, were trying to break into their house to get at the family and the meat that was stored in them. Right. And right. all of this is to a very jarring uh, few BFO reports. Right. Uh, describing these very scary incidents. Right where they, to the point where there were, there were scratches on the door, on the porch, evidence of something trying to get into the house and at the family. Right. And they heard it. And they saw it. Right. And they shot at it. And they shot at it. And they could never bring any of them down. Right. It was blood 
you know, trails of blood leading out into the woods. Right. All of it. And they never figured out what they were. No. And, uh, it's subsequent investigations, there was a whole long-term investigation out here. I never found anything. But this area is before that and after that. Uh, after that. Uh, recently. Very recently. Very, yeah. Like, you know, a couple months ago. Sightings. Sightings. Sightings, sounds, tree knocking, all of it. Evidence of, of something weird going on out there. Right. At this area, Little River, um, is where most of them are, actually. Right. Um, so uh, I think we're going to take a little look around. Right. Do we're going to explore around else? here. We're going to explore deeper into the woods, into the forests. Right. So. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, run into whatever attack that family. See what we can find. See what we can find. There's the river. It's pretty cold. You know, as it would be. There are reports, uh, not necessarily from Oklahoma, but from other parts of the country of Bigfoot, the species of Bigfoot actually being uh, amphibious, I guess. Really? Yeah, of uh, being able to get the water and escape predators yeah. and things like that. So, uh, who knows? That could be a Bigfoot right there. You would never know. But, probably not. I think the woods are pretty warm. And for the record, um, we, you know, we have things that we do off camera too, exploring, trying to get to more isolated areas and things like that. We have encountered our first invertebrate. Yes. So, a rather long black invertebrate, but we were in no danger. We let it be and it let us be. And uh, we ran the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just gonna try to pretend to be braver. Right. Yes, we we definitely let it be. Yes. I've seen a uh, there's a video actually on a big foot going along a uh, stream, a creek, actually walking through it. I saw that same video. Yeah. Yeah. And it's. And that's, that's what I keep expecting to see, you know, something like right. that. It's very much like this, where they were down exactly. river a bit. Yeah, they were down river and they yeah. saw this thing and walked across. Thanks for big foot. No. <laughs> but it means we need to head deeper into the forest. Yeah. See what we can find. Well, I don't deny people have seen things, but, uh, I don't know if Bigfoot's necessarily here today. <laughs> well, uh, well, uh, as you can see, it's raining. <laughs> middle, middle of the forest. Yeah, um, and it started raining. This is definitely unknown Oklahoma. Uh, we have no freaking idea what's going to happen moment to moment here. Right. Uh, so we're the I semi trail we were on kept getting muddier and muddier and wetter and wetter and we decided we would do a just a little retreat yeah turns out the retreat brought us back to uh, the car we're currently sheltering under the uh, the back of the car so, yeah yeah so we'll uh we're gonna see if this rain lets up a little bit right I'll head back in there I uh I hope Bigfoot's doing okay though me too <laughs> me too well uh yeah. Yeah. Does Bigfoot need an umbrella? Um, we'll find out. Yeah. Yeah, we'll ask him. We'll ask him. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you, you'll see us in about a second. We'll see you in like, I don't know, a few minutes. <laughs> Stay dry. Stay dry. Um, so uh, we hear thunder, but we also hear gunshots. Right. 
So uh, it is the forest. <laughs> it's the forest, and even though this is a natural protected forest, we're not supposed to hunt here. We'd rather not take a risk. Right. Plus, it's raining. So, right. I don't know how well these are going to help us, but um, we went ahead and purchased a couple of vests. Yeah. Just for safety's so, sake, because, uh, you know, better safe than shot. We're going to suit up here. Yeah. So, that one. Something to help very, us be very, seen. Very fluorescent. I can see it very well. Right. So, let's see uh, what we can do here. Does this color bring out my eyes? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Great. Alright. Right. We look like we're supposed to be out here. Do you want to be the Y or the M? <laughs> right. Everybody needs some construction. Right. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Well, on, on into the forest yeah. we go. On into the forest, hopefully with uh, less monsoons. Yeah. setting up base camp. I'm gonna walk out into the woods. I'm gonna set up some static cameras. Now static cameras are really nice because you basically set them up and you leave them. <laughs> it's really easy uh, and it captures a lot of footage. It's kind of like a trail cam. Hunters use things like this to uh, track the movements of deer and bears or whatever they're hunting. But tonight we're hunting Bigfoot. So we're gonna track, hopefully, Bigfoot. All right, so currently, I haven't planned this out very well, but I'm looking for a good Habitat for Bigfoot set up a static camera. Now, let's see if there's any place over here. It's kind of a prelude to a solo investigation I'm gonna do later. I think this is a good area. So you can kind of see that there is just enough. It's just enough open space here. You can actually see what's going on. And this camera will be capturing all of that. So hopefully, you'll see this angle in a little while and uh, Bigfoot will be walking right across there. All right, I'm gonna go set up a few more cameras. Go back to base camp, grab some materials, set up a few more cameras. I can get this night started. We're gonna we'll switch back and forth. Yeah, between you know, kind of a you know, first person and whatever the hell this is. <laughs> right. But also to so, show that there's two of us in the woods, not just one. We've we found kind of an odd a little clearing clearing area. Yeah. In the middle of the woods here, where a bunch of trees have been knocked down. We yeah. have broken. Look here. Get that. Oh yeah. Broken look at that. down. It's a little clearing here. Seems a little... That's pretty... Unnatural. Yeah. So... Yeah, we're not even sure what that... What that is, but... Trees... Definitely... Clear. Um... What else here? I mean, it's just... It's a... It seems like a good area. There's kind of... A couple of... Spaces under the rocks where you could... Presumably, it would be cooler. I was kind of looking for some sort of opening almost, like a cave or a cavern or something. Right. 
Not I've sure been if there's naturally form up here, but searching for for you know hair, obviously, right. footprints, of course, footprints, everything like that. Um, so it's pretty dense here. I don't know if you can even tell if there's a. I mean, even if I slam into the ground, you can't tell if there's anything there. So right. This is probably not the best place to find footprints of anything, but you know. But you can even see there's you know amounts of woodland. It's pretty thick back here too. I know this is anything too conclusive, but we have found this thing of footprints. They do look human, but they do kind of end randomly, like begin and end uh, randomly here. It's just kind of weird. Yeah, they stop. Yeah. And that means that however they were made or whoever they made has to be going into the woods now. Right, which, I mean, again, humans do that too. They're sadly they're filled with muddy rainwater, so we can't do a a plaster cast or anything. There's no. Right. But I mean, let's see. Let's. I mean, you know. <laughs> oh, actually, that's quite a bit bigger than yours. Yeah, but again, I don't have very big feet. That's yeah, that's about the same size. Yeah. Looks like most of them are. Oh, that's, that's the most, like the clearest one over here. It's, uh, yeah, about the same size as my foot. So. Okay, fine. Probably human. Yeah. You don't look anything. But interesting to be in the middle of the forest and find footprints. It so. is. It is. All right. So now comes the phase of the investigation where we do solo investigations. Right. Right. Looking for Han Solo. No. <laughs> no. 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 We're, we're looking for Bigfoot. Right. 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 Uh, on, our, on our own. All by ourselves. All by ourselves. Right. Completely solo. <laughs> right. But the truth is that these, this forest is huge. It's, um, it's just, it's insane. Now, here's kind of how these work. So one of us is going to go out into the woods. One of us is going to be watching the static cams on, uh, well, I guess watching the static cams at base camp here. And uh, if we see anything on those, one of us, or I guess whoever's out there, will run over right. and see if the, the thing is possibly still there, or if it's, you know, if it looks compelling. Right. Right. You just, you contact me and let right. me know which static cam. Right. So Great. You got it. So. And uh, see what we can do. All right. Ready. You're first. Okay. Let's get right. Okay. <laughs> All right, I am out here on my solo mission, um, just looking for anything that I can find. It's it's so heavily wooded. <laughs> it's so heavily wooded out here that it's it's difficult to you know not only see but also to... Uh... All right, so, uh, Dad is currently out there in the woods. I am back here at beautiful, beautiful base camp, and uh, I am watching the static cameras. Now, the static cameras actually have a uh, back camera function, so you can see me as I'm uh, watching the static cam. So we're gonna see if we can figure out anything. It's easy to imagine that there could be something out here and we wouldn't find it. I mean, it's just endless. I'm just surrounded by... You can see little breaks in the trees and things, but, you know, anything can hide out here. It's, uh, it's just unbelievable. Trying to check the ground for footprints or anything. Just trying to see what I can see. We've got cameras set up 
somewhere around here. What is that? What? What the hell is that? Oh, I have located one of the cameras. Okay, so I'm in one of the areas that we've determined would be the most likely to see a Bigfoot or find evidence of Bigfoot. So I've been checking trees for hair samples or anything that might be, you know, that might give us the, you know, some sort of evidence or something we can, an area to explore, so. Hey. Which number? Four. four. I'm I'm in I'm in the area of static camera four actually. I was uh I was in the woods and I actually ran across the camera a little while ago. So what do, what do you got? Well you're not gonna believe this, but I'm pretty sure I just saw a big hairy sticker walk across the frame. Really? Yeah, no, I'm not kidding you. I I can, I can prove it. It's, okay, I'm I'm literally right in front of the camera. I'm I'm looking I'm looking into the woods to see. I don't see anything. Are you sure? Because it was pretty clear. I, I I don't. I've I've been here I've been here a few minutes in this area and I ran across the camera and I've just been I've been looking for for anything, but I haven't seen anything. Okay. All right. I'll head back to base camp. All right. I'll I'm to get out there. So. All right. I'll be there. I'll be back at base camp in a minute. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, I see uh, see someone coming back from the woods. Welcome back to civilization. Thank you. At least uh, temporary civilization. <laughs> right. All right. It is unbelievable out there. Yeah. It really is. There is, there's so much ground to cover. Yeah. It's unbelievable. All right, well, I'm going this way. So you went that way, I'm going this way. All right. So, uh, yeah, right. and that way is static camera one and two. Right, So right. Uh, I may run into them. Now, again, if you see anything on there, right. let me know. Will do. All right. Will do. I'll be back here. Great. All right, this is my solo investigation. I have a flashlight, so uh, it's actually getting pretty dark out here. I may even have to turn IR mode on this because the uh, static cameras automatically have an IR mode, so you may have seen that earlier. <laughs> it is getting... Good lord, it's dense in here. I'm off this thing out of secondary education. stuff that's out here. And now, I for one, I'm really scared to kind of just be alone out here. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you know, whose idea was this? Whose idea was this to do solo investigations? This is, this is a bad idea. I'm following what looks like a game trail out here. Even in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> there are game trails. And there are hunters, that's why we're wearing vests. So it's really, you gotta be careful where you're going to. All right, um, Liam is out on his solo investigation and it is still hot as blazes, but I have seen some clouds rolling in and heard some thunder. Um, the, uh, the locusts have started making noise. I don't know enough about that, but it just kind of came out of nowhere. My, my concern is that there's a storm coming 
and that, you know, we're in the middle of the forest with lightning and who knows what. So we, we had rain earlier. Um, there, off and on, there, there's been rain and, and some of it's been no big deal and some of it's been pretty severe. So, I mean, it's all, all part of the fun of doing a show in Oklahoma. What was that? Let's put something in there. Dark as hell. Let's put the, the tree cover and everything. Okay. It's really dark. I'm scared. so dark. I'm whispering because I don't want anything out here to hear me. Alright. Well, you know what's good and trustable? the flashlight off. Hey, what's up? Hey, yeah. So, uh, I'm over here at static cam number two. You see anything over here? Do you, do you see me waving out to the flashlight here? <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking out into the woods here. If yeah. there's anything I... Yeah. There's so much area to cover. There really is. It's, it's impossible to cover all of them. Have you seen it? Did you see any uh, hair or anything like that? No, I heard something rustling around in the trees. That's about it. Kind of spooks me, but uh, otherwise it's been pretty uneventful. Yeah, I did. I was talking about that too. Well, uh, yeah. Let's start heading back to base camp. Liam should be headed back to base camp soon here. Um. He's been out there for a while, so um, he did radio in, so um, he said he heard some rustling in the trees, and you know, that's something to be investigated, because you just don't know, uh, could be anything out here, there's so much. You were just in the loss. Right. <laughs> no, it's really me, it's really me, I was just... I was just talking about how you'd heard some some rustling and that it, there's endless possibilities. It's it's it all needs to be investigated. Yeah. So you know. Yeah. It really does. Uh, it's crazy. It really is. So yeah, and it's so Oklahoma. That's it. it really is. Everything about this type of investigation. The the weather changing all the time. The the it's it's burning hot then it's I, then it's a thunderstorm right i was it's getting so dark out here right it's ridiculous right
So, so. all yeah. part of the fun of unknown Oklahoma. Unknown Oklahoma. Oklahoma. I can't even say it. <laughs> exactly. I know. It's yeah. heat exhaustion. <laughs> heat exhaustion. That's a that's no. a wheel sweat out here too. Yeah. Along with Bigfoot bears and God knows what. Right. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. All right. Well, I think we should start packing up and uh, heading out before the uh, actual threats start coming out. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. All right. We set off the next morning, still thinking about our harrowing investigation. We hadn't found exactly what we were looking for, but what we had seen and heard had changed. all of the things that we did, all the places we went to. Do you think we could I think that... I think there's still a possibility. I agree. I, I was constantly struck by how remote those areas that we explored were. Yeah. And how many opportunities that a creature would have to hide. Yeah, it really shocked me. You know, going into this, I was like, well, how can it be in Oklahoma? You know, right. it's, it's, it's not the Amazon. <laughs> you know, it's not the middle of nowhere. You're not, you know, isolated, but you really are. Yeah. You know? And, and we were in a part of Oklahoma that literally bumped up against two other states. Yeah. And, and the mountains and the forest extended through all of them. Right, and you, could, you couldn't you could possibly explore all of that. Right. It's probably not all explored. No. You know, it's just it's ridiculous the amount of things. So I still leave open the possibility that something like that exists. I do too. That there's a creature that we just don't know about. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, what if does that? Uh, Yeah, I heard something. I was just coming to investigate. Trying a little, uh... I'll, uh, I'll let you know if I, if I hear anything. All right, that'll be good. I'll be at base camp. <laughs> 